Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. What an amazing morning to wake up my friends. I just woke up a couple of minutes ago and I saw this nice uh, pump that we have currently here in the Bitcoin price. And of course this kind of pumps doesn't surprise me anymore because uh, Bitcoin can pump towards 50, 60, 70k at any time. But we have to analyze in today's video two important steps that now the Bitcoin price has to maintain in order to have confirmation that we are back in our bull run and we will take out this all time high of $42,000 in the very close future. So that's why my friends make sure that you stick in here till the end because we're going to cover everything today. Again, we're also going to have a look into the Ethereum price and also into Dogecoin. So that's why make sure to watch till the end. So what Bitcoin has to do right now in order to maintain this pump that we are seeing here out of this resistance that we had here at $34,000 is that we're going to confirm now in the four hour time frame this new support that in theory we should have at around 34,000. So what I want to see right now is that Bitcoin is able to close four hour candles above this price level and also have a daily close above this new potential support and even better above $36,000. Why $36,000? We're gonna have a look on that in the daily time frame but here first in the four hour I'm expecting now the price to close above $34,000. We have to wait and see we need more data in order to confirm this breakout. Of course yesterday it was a bit critical here because as you can see we got initially rejected here at the resistance. We had this dump here towards the 20 moving average in the 4 hour and if you took this long from yesterday. So if you entered along based on the buy signal that we had yesterday I told you my friends to put a stop loss as soon as you are in profits. This is also what I did and I got stopped out so I missed out on this big push that we had this morning. So I'm out of my trade currently but if you're still holding in your long position then make sure to put a stop loss at least just below here $34,000 because it is still possible that this is a fake out. Also if we go over into the volume you can see that currently we have a big spike in the volume but if this is turning red so if we're gonna see here a big week to the upside which in my opinion is not any more possible or at least uh, not very likely then this could turn into red and that of course is very very bearish and this could result in a fake out but if we can close this candle here above $34,000 and also in green then we have a confirmed breakout we also have to come down to retest $34,000 but overall we are looking then extremely bullish and by the way if you're interested in getting my buy and sell signals 24 7 then make sure to join our free discord trading chat you find the link to our trading chat down below here the invitation code you like this you can join it completely for free and if you want to get also access to our live stream where you can easily trade bitcoin when we go up and when we go down then a little donation is needed you can contact me over on discord because like this you can easily trade these big pumps and dumps that we are seeing and as you can see here also in the three hour we got a confirmed buy signal if you took this trade then congratulations so if you want to get access to this 24 7 live stream then make sure to join our discord trading chat and then also contact me over there so in the four hour time frame we have now to wait here for a close above 34,000 and hopefully then also confirm it as a new support if in the next four hour candle we are coming down for a little correction test the new support and then gear up for the next move. This is the first thing that I want to see here in the four hour time frame. And the second important thing is here in the daily time frame. So if today we can close the candle above the 20 daily moving average, which currently is at $35,000, then I'm getting very, very bullish here because in that case we will see continuation to the upside and the daily time frame will be not anymore in a downtrend like we have seen right now in the last couple of days. We will go back into our bull trend. We're gonna have a confirmed buy signal RSI is going to be again above the 50 and also in the 9 daily moving average you can see that we are turning into green if today we can close above the 20 daily moving average and then hopefully also during the weekend or next week stay above the 20 daily moving average. So this is also what I want to see in order to have the 
absolute confirmation that we are back in the bull trend and we will go to way higher levels than 42,000. This is what I want to see here in the next couple of hours and days. And another important thing is that if we do a Fibonacci retracement from the all time high that we had and the current bottom right here at $28,800. You can see that the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement is right here $36,900. So if today we can even close above this price level, then I'm expecting big fireworks to the upside, my friends, because in that case, we would again start to create higher highs in the daily time frame. So if we can take out this resistance that we have over here, so if we can close daily candles above this $36,900, I'm pretty confident that we will see big continuations to the upside and the correction that we have seen so far is already over and we will head again towards new levels so it's going to be very very important my friends how we're gonna close today's candle and of course also the next couple of four hour candles don't FOMO in right now wait for confirmation we are not completely out of the woods yet this is the first step in order to go completely bullish again but we also have to wait for confirmation so this is the first step now my friends let's wait till we're gonna confirm here this breakout so if we can confirm this breakout successfully, then we're gonna discuss the potential upside targets in another video. But as you know by now, I'm very bullish on Bitcoin and I expect prices way above 50 and $60,000 potentially within the next couple of weeks. So even though we could still get this correction down to 20K overall, we will go towards new levels pretty soon. And it is still possible that this correction is already over because after getting a sell signal here in the weekly, you see that we came down to the first bearish target right at the nine weekly moving average. I told you my friends that most likely at least to this moving average, we're gonna see a correction. It's not yet clear if we even gonna drop towards the 20 weekly moving average down here to $20,900. So if we are coming down to these levels, I'm not pretty sure, but of course it is still in the cards. And if Bitcoin is able to bounce here already at the nine weekly moving average, then for sure we're gonna see big fireworks to the upside here, my friends. And also keep in mind that as long as we are closing weekly candles here above the nine and 20 weekly moving average, these moving averages rise up a lot every week. So that means that next week, the 20 weekly moving average is most likely already at around 21 to $22,000. So don't wait to try to catch the bottom. Always DCA in into Bitcoin, my friends, if you still need to buy more Bitcoin because you definitely don't want to FOMO in once we are reaching 100k and higher prices. At those prices here at around 40, 30, 20k you can still buy cheap Bitcoin. So this breakout my friends is very bullish of course and we just have to wait and see where we're gonna close the next couple of four hour candles and also the, of course the daily close in order to get confirmation that this breakout is valid and we will go towards new levels. So if you want to enter into some long positions, then maybe wait for the confirmation, wait that the price comes back down here towards 34,000 and confirms it as a support. This is also where the 200 moving average currently is lining up in the four hours. So I'm pretty confident that as soon as here we are getting a sell signal that we will come down here to retest this area. And then we're gonna see if we are able to have a big bounce to the upside or not. So if you want to FOMO in into a long trade, then wait for a retracement and confirmation that 34,000 is the new support. And now let's have a look also into the Ethereum price because currently Ethereum didn't have that much of a pump. We are still trading within this channel which could end up in a big rising wedge or a potential bull flag. It's not yet clear. But of course, at the moment, it looks like that this could be more a rising wedge, which of course is a bearish pattern. But overall, if here we can break out to the upside from this resistance that we have currently at $1,500, which in my opinion will get tested pretty soon. We didn't see yet this big pump in Ethereum like we have seen in Bitcoin. And that's why I think Ethereum currently is lagging a bit behind. So maybe if you want to risk that, if you want to take a trade, on Ethereum, then maybe open up a long position and wait till we're gonna retest here this $1,500 to take profits or at least to put a stop loss. Because in my opinion, it is very likely that we will come up here to test 1,500 potentially in the next couple of hours. We have still this buy signal going on here and also the RSI bounce from the 50 level. So the four hour time frame is looking very bullish here, my friends. And if we go over into the 
daily. Also here you can see that we're still maintaining the 9 and 20 daily moving average. So we didn't close below this important support that we have currently. And that's why I'm expecting here at least to reach the $1,500 area. If we can break out here to the upside and also confirm it as a new support, then Ethereum will go for sure towards 2K and way higher levels so i'm pretty bullish on ethereum as well i think ethereum currently is a bit lagging behind we could see this push towards 1500 if you want to take this trade it's still not too late but be very careful put always a stop loss as soon as you are in profits and now my friends we can have a look also into dogecoin because uh, this morning i think it came almost up to 10 cents this is really amazing i mean yesterday we covered this coin after this uh, gamestop debacle and uh, yeah, maybe they are able to push it to $1. I don't think so. I mean, you need quite a lot of money to push it up to uh, $1. And uh, yeah, overall, I'm not saying that it is impossible, but uh, I wouldn't uh, FOMO in into Dogecoin, my friends. The, the funny thing is I did several weeks ago a video where I told you how to get rich by buying just uh, Dogecoin. Of course, that was a big joke, but currently I, I get a lot of views on that video and also a lot of comments how to buy Dogecoin. But my friends, please don't FOMO in into this coin. This is a meme coin. You just buy it for fun and not to get rich or anything like that. Just buy it for fun because this coin is a typical pump and dump coin. We always see pumps and then big dumps on this coin because it's just a joke. There is no fundamentals, nothing uh, behind it. Of course, it is fun to see this coin pumping like this, but I would never consider this as an investment. This is purely gambling or just having fun like playing a game because that coin is just a meme and always will be a meme. So currently here, as you can see, we are seeing this big retracement back down to the nine moving average. Maybe we even fall down towards the 20 moving average between 20 to 32 cents. If you really want to buy some, then maybe wait here for a complete retracement back down towards one or two cents and then maybe put a little bit of dollars in there and just keep it in case that one day maybe it's going to one dollar. But uh, yeah, I'm not pretty confident that we will reach one dollar with this pump. Maybe it's already over, but of course we can also continue towards one dollar. Everything is possible. But if you just put like $50 on it, then who cares? But if you go with thousands of dollars into this coin, then I'm pretty sure that at the end you will lose that money. So that's why my friends only put a little bit of dollars that you're willing to lose because this is a meme coin and just trade this coin for fun, my friends. And now let's go over into a more important chart, this one over here, the DXY, because currently the DXY is still struggling here to really break out to the upside here. This is another proof how weak the US dollar is. I mean, we have several bullish patterns and the DXY is still not able to go higher and have a nice pump towards the 100 or 200 daily moving average up here, where in theory now we should have enough resistance, even if we see a pump towards this price area over here this is the only reason why i believe we could see a potential bigger correction in the crypto space and overall also in the stock market if the dxy is able to go up to those levels then maybe start to consolidate here and then continue to crash but if we are not able even now when we are breaking out from this big falling wedge to the upside and even after this little symmetrical triangle to push higher then i think the dxy is really lost and most likely here we will just continue to go into the abyss and of course that is very bullish for the stock market and overall also for the crypto market all right my friends i think i'm gonna wrap it up for now because we just need more price data i will always keep you update here on youtube and of course also over on discord shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on discord make sure to join the chat we have the greatest crypto community over there you can find the invitation link down below here in the video description and also if you want to trade over on bybit or femex with the leverage here you can trade bitcoin ethereum and so on with leverage and make sure to use my sign up links down below here you support the channel and also you will get some extra money if you put the deposit on it and if you don't want to trade yourself then maybe try out primex pt because here you can copy trade other 
the successful traders. So here you can just sign up, put some Bitcoin and then click here on follow on the trader that you would like to follow. You can see that some of them have over thousands of percent of gains. So try it out my friends if you do want to do some passive money. And of course a big shout out to Binance. This is my favorite exchange at the moment because here you can really buy and sell all the altcoins that you want and at the same time you also get a lot of interest per day. So when you're keeping your cryptos over here, even your stable coins, you will get every day paid in interest here. So really nice feature over on Binance. If you still need a Binance account, use my link down below here in the video description. And for all the no coiners out there, still a big reminder over here, buy right now Bitcoin and all the cryptos that you want over on Swissborg, Binance or Coinbase. Use my sign up links down below here to those exchanges because with your first deposit you will also get some extra money so you can buy even more crypto. So take this advantage, take these promotions as long as they are here, especially the ones over here on Coinbase where you can claim some free altcoins like EOS, Compound, Band Protocol and so on. Take these invitation links down below here as long as they offer these promotions. So if you like the content, my friends, hit that like button, very much appreciated. Also subscribe to the channel, I do daily TA videos and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.